Sean back here. This next activity illustrates the importance of text wrapping. That is, making sure that you don't have to scroll both horizontally and vertically to read a block of text. It's hard for anyone to manipulate and comprehend text if they have to scroll both ways. And it's especially hard for people with cognitive disabilities and motor impairments like tremors, which I'll show you. This is more commonly an issue for people with low vision because people with low vision often increase the text size and spacing. So wrapping um, becomes more of an issue. I usually do about 150% size and 1.5 or two line spacing, depending on how my vision is doing at the time. So this is something that's a, a personal issue for me as well. Some people need much more zoom, for example, 400%. So I'm gonna show you text that is at about 400%. I'm gonna show you one that requires horizontal scrolling and one that does not. Okay, we have this page and it's large text. There's about 30 characters wide. Um, there's about three lines of text and the text wraps. So we only, I only need to scroll down to read it. I'll read through that and scroll down as I go along. Text customization for readability. Millions of people cannot read normally formatted text and millions more will not be able to in the coming years as their vision declines due to aging. Many people with low vision, dyslexia, and related conditions and situations that impact reading cannot read the text in print books, newspapers, manuals, etc., even with reading glasses. However, they can read text that is formatted differently. For example, with large letters, different font, more spacing, etc. All right, that was pretty easy. Now I'm going to look at the same text, but without wrapping. So now I'm gonna to have to scroll both horizontally and vertically to read a line. Let's say I'm also using a mouse and I have some dexterity issues and see how that goes. Okay, so next page. Next page, now I'm gonna to start to read this one. Text customization for, and I gotta find the scroll. Horizontal scrolling for readability. And okay, I think that's the end of the line. So then I'll go to the scroll back to the next line. Millions of people cannot read normally formatted text and millions more. Okay, I gotta go to the next line. Oops, wait. Where am I next? Oh, I'm gonna pass millions more. Okay, go back to the beginning of the line. Uh, will not be able to in the coming years as their vision declines due to aging. Okay, next line, let me scroll down to the, oh, ah, I went too far. Uh, okay, aging, where am I? Uh, shoot, I can't get it to go where I want. Okay, I'm gonna use the, uh, me, oh, there it is. Okay, now I've gone to the final horizontal scroll bar. Many people with low vision, wait, did I already read that? Okay, you get the point. Even in the best of cases, when I'm using the mouse or whatever, it's harder to process the content when anyone has to scroll two ways, whether you have disabilities or not. So later in the course, you'll learn more about the user experiences and the accessibility requirements in the standards guidelines around this accessibility issue.